as a whole, what is life like as an INFP? In the most simple terms, I would say that life is a journey. A journey of self-discovery, self-acceptance, and self-love. It's a journey to stop being afraid of who you are, to stop hiding from yourself, and just be who you are. It's a journey to stop seeking validation from others and realize that your value lies within yourself. Hey, I'm Matt Sherman and welcome to Geek Psychology where I use personality type to help you find your true character and level it up so you can play life better. It's also a journey of learning how to control your emotions and use them for your benefit instead of letting them control you. It's a journey that requires discipline and perseverance in order to achieve the things that you want in life. It's about finding your passion, living it out loud, and not really caring what other people think about it. Because when you actually do that, once you live as yourself, uh, no matter what anyone thinks, it doesn't really matter. And I mean that in the most loving and caring way. You have these voices, these characters within you. One, the empath that drives you to follow your conscience. Uh, the explorer, which is this part of you that constantly falls in love with new ideas and metaphors. The guardian, which tells you to slow down and just maintain consistency, to stay in your comfort zone of habits and emotions and memories, good or bad. Who am I kidding, right? They're usually bad memories. And the commander, who is showing you how little you've actually accomplished and completed in your life and tells you that you should be you know, doing something. You should be ignoring your feelings and just working a nine to five and living a normal templatized life. And as an INFP, you've probably been drawn to things that help you understand people and understand how they work and how, how they think and feel about things. You'll probably have a hard time dealing with conflict and confrontation because it makes you uncomfortable. Um, and it's not fun to see other people upset at each other or themselves. You probably try to avoid these situations uh, at all costs <laughs> because they hurt inside, like they hurt you. You can put yourself into other people's positions, perspectives or shoes or whatever you wanna call it and tap into your own emotional replica of how the other person feels. And having to switch back and forth between both of those sides is exhausting and kind of scary. There's this thought that like eventually you might find some dark place that you'll never escape from or that when you actually finally do let that anger out, something very bad is gonna happen. You're compelled to use your imagination to be creative and make connections between the seemingly unrelated things. You love to learn about new topics and get lost in books and movies. That's the explorer. You're also very sensitive and perceptive to other people's feelings and emotions, but it comes from finding yourself within them. You may not always say, what you think because it's hard to articulate. It's probably not as quick as most people want it to be. And your feelings often get you know, brushed over and marginalized. And that and you don't really want to impose your way of living on other people. You may even become more withdrawn than normal if you feel like other people are invading your personal space or trying to control your decisions. And it's usually a quiet uh, like release of slack, like on a rope until the person like eventually realizes that you've been gone for weeks or you've just kind of tapped out emotionally and you're just not you're not there anymore you're not related to them anymore in any way if you've resonated with what you've heard here then check out uh, this video over here for more information or go to inalfeelpositive.com and hang out with a bunch of other infps like yourself see you soon